Let's talk about how to get rid of your facial hair if you are female. The medical term for this is hirsutism. It follows more male pattern where there's uh, hair on the face, okay? There's hair sometimes on the back and the chest as well. Now, the number one cause of this condition is PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, okay? There are other causes too, like you could have a tumor on your adrenal glands or a tumor on your pituitary gland. You could also have a condition called Cushing syndrome, where your adrenals are pumping out way too much cortisol, okay? And the symptoms for PCOS are heavy cycles or no cycles, acne, uh, weight gain in the midsection, deeper voice, infertility. They also say when you look this up in Wikipedia, insulin resistance, all because of high androgens, okay? Now, normally women should have some androgens, but it shouldn't be excessive. There's usually lower amounts of androgens and higher amounts of estrogen. Now, the reason you're probably watching this is because you have facial hair and you're trying to solve this problem, but it's incredibly confusing. And I'm going to tell you why it's incredibly confusing and what to do about it. Now, if you research facial hair, you're going to stumble on this PCOS thing, and then you're probably going to want to look at some really credible, scientifically based uh, evidence on this topic so you can do your research. So of course, you'd go to Wikipedia, which I'm being extremely sarcastic because this is like random.com. Who's really censoring information? Who's allowing certain information and not allowing certain information? So it's a crapshoot on Wikipedia, especially if you're looking at medical information, because Wikipedia, as far as PCOS, will tell you that it's genetic or it's environmental. That's probably true that it's causing something, but not necessarily high androgens. Those plastics and chemicals are endocrine disruptors, but they're, they're mainly going to increase estrogen, okay? And if you increase estrogen, you're going to lower androgen. So you might even make it a little bit better and change the ratios, but probably not but they will go on to say there's no cure, okay? But you can also, in the meantime, take birth control pills. So again, why would that work? Well, you're increasing the ratios of estrogen and hopefully bringing down androgens. Also metformin, why would that work? Well, it's going to help reduce insulin by making insulin more sensitive because it targets insulin resistance, but it has side effects because it is a medication. They also recommend certain drugs that um, make insulin more sensitive. Now, as far as the diet, what they recommend, <laughs> they recommend low GI foods. So foods that are low on the glycemic index, which makes total sense because obviously there's insulin resistance involved, right? But of course, the foods that they recommend will confuse you. Fruit. So why would eating fruits help you lower insulin? It doesn't. It raises insulin because they are sweet, okay? They recommend vegetables and whole grains. I hope someday someone will let me know why eating whole grains are good for facial hair or PCOS or lowering insulin. I'd like to know because this turns into carbohydrates very quickly and it's going to raise insulin. Okay. But of course, everything you're looking at now, they always have to recommend whole grains. Okay. Now with PCOS, there also is an association with hyperinsulinemia. That's high insulin in your bloodstream. Okay. So let's go over to Wikipedia and see what they say about hyperinsulinemia, okay? They say the cause comes from either a neoplasm, which is cancer, pancreatic cancer, trans fats, PCOS, which is very confusing. So basically, they're saying PCOS causes high insulin in the blood? I mean, that makes no sense. And now you're going to be really confused, right? Uh, what's the relationship there? How could PCOS, high levels of androgens, actually cause hyperinsulinemia? It can't. It's illogical. And then they recommend carb malabsorption, whatever the heck that means, okay? You're malabsorbing your carbohydrates. I have no clue what that means, okay? But I'm glad they have a treatment because the treatment is exercise, okay? It's metformin. And again, they add the whole grains as your diet, whole grains, beans, and definitely soy, okay? So that's what you should be eating if you have too much insulin based on Wikipedia. 
So at this point in your research, you're going to be utterly, com completely confused simply because you are doing your evaluation from a bad source, from the wrong source, okay? Wikipedia is not the best source of data you should be evaluating this problem on. I'm going to put some good references down below so you can see these, but here's what's missing on the Wikipedia pages. When you increase insulin, when you have excess insulin, you're going to get high androgens, okay? High insulin causes high levels of androgens, which then cause PCOS, which then give you facial hair, okay? That's the connection. High insulin is at the root of PCOS and facial hair. And so the solution is obviously to lower insulin. And if you do that and you look at this, everything makes sense. Because as soon as you lower insulin, you lower androgens, and guess what happens? Your cycle comes back in balance, your acne goes away, you become more fertile, okay? And you also get rid of insulin resistance. So you're gonna lose weight, and also, the fat cells will stop producing this other thing. It's an enzyme. It's called aromatase. And aromatase is basically kind of this enzyme that converts your testosterone to estrogen. So it raises your estrogen. Okay, that's probably what's behind this uh, no cycle infertility problem. But obviously, this extra fat that's making this extra estrogen is not necessarily countering the high levels of androgen because the diet needs to change to fix that. Now, how do you lower insulin, okay? Very simply, you lower carbohydrates and you lower the frequency of meals, like get rid of the snacks. The best video on that I'm gonna put up is right here. Check it out.